if you get a Higgs particle after however many collisions, and that's kind of rare, if you have more collisions, you'll get more Higgs yeah. to improve your statistics on what the hell the Higgs is. Yeah, because we want to know. But then there could be a reaction that's even rarer to manifest than the Higgs. Yes. And if your sample wasn't large enough, you would just never go there. Yes, you wouldn't see it. You if, just, you, if you just made one thing, one particle, then you, you, you won't really see it. If you just make one or two of them, you need to make hundreds or thousands or whatever it is to see them. Yeah, it's like how many people have to live in a city before you stumble on someone who's seven feet tall. Yeah, That's so it's statistic. Statistically, you, yeah. you need possibly millions. Yeah, yeah. So, so the upgrades are the, the upgrades that we can do, and it's, you have to upgrade the detectors, the cameras that we use, as well as the machine. Okay, so you, you, you kept the same hole in the ground. Yeah, because yeah, we don't want to dig another one of those <laughs> or change all the magnets around, which are very expensive. Does that hole go through more than one country or is it all yeah, contained in yeah, Switzerland? It's France and Switzerland. So that's one thing. And the, and the other thing is this Higgs that we've discovered, the, this, the question still remains, is it the, the simplest one, the standard model Higgs it's called? Or is it something more complicated? How does it behave? So the analogy in, in, in planetary science would be, you know, we've discovered a moon. And so you go, great. Then you would like to know about the moon. You don't want to just say we've discovered this moon. It's a dot. That's fine. As you said, it, they're interesting. You want to characterize worlds. it in whatever yeah, so way you can. For that, you need a lot of them to, to observe. Mm -hmm. So, so, so it's it's exciting, the, but and it's challenging because I, I think for the first time, it's probably true to say in particle physics, we don't know if there's anything else just around the corner.